Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa, and um, I am a sweaty, hot mess right now because I just got done with a run. Um, but that is how I started my weekend. Um, I'm counting this as a start to the weekend. It's Friday, March 15th. Um, and I'm just about to make myself a little protein smoothie. Um, and then um, once baby goes down for a nap, I hope to read. So um, yeah, I will show you guys what I'm reading in a bit. Um, but I'd also thought I'd just throw in a bit of lifestyle stuff too um, and show you guys my current green smoothie recipe that I'm making. Um, I'm loving. And of course, Lily decides now is the time she wants to play with her squeaky toy. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I thought I'd show you guys that also. Um, and baby is looking at me wondering what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me turn the camera around and I'll give you guys a little bit of a glimpse into this recipe. Okay, so here is the ingredient list here um and i always start off with the stuff that's going to need crushing up the most which is going to be the frozen bananas so this is one frozen banana here um and also a scoop of ice so let me quickly do that first next i'm going to add the milk and then the powders um, so I do a cup of this unsweetened vanilla almond milk and um, add that to it. And then I do two tablespoons of this chocolate PB2. Um, amazing. I love this stuff so much. Um, it's peanut butter powder. And if you mix it up with just water, it, make, it mixes into peanut butter. But it's only 50 calories per two tablespoons. Um, and it's also packed with protein as well. So yeah, love this stuff. So two scoops of this. And then um, this is the current protein powder that me and my husband are using, but um, we like Ghost, but we're kind of open to flavors of theirs. But the current one we're doing is Chips Ahoy. And it's actually really, really good, especially in smoothies, because it's kind of a neutral flavor. I mean, it doesn't sound like it is, but it is. So yeah, so we do two scoops of this. And then to kind of just pack in more protein, um, I put in this little cup of uh, yogurt, um, Greek yogurt, the zero sugar kind from Chobani. Um, and we do vanilla, obviously. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is only 60 calories and also has a ton of protein in it as well. So we do a scoop of, well, not a scoop. We do this whole little cup, um, add that in. And then the last top off that I'll just show now is we just fill it to the max with spinach until the whole blender is full. And then press the smoothie button and whir whirl it up. <laughs> I was going to say whip it, and then I thought whirl it. Anyways, okay, so let's just, let's just show the final product. baby is sort of contentedly on the floor playing so we're gonna attempt to um talk about what i'm currently reading and what i plan to read this weekend as i sip the rest of this smoothie um so it's kind of gonna be no surprise really but i'm still in the middle of penelope williamson's the outsider I'm this much of the way through it, so basically a little over halfway, 60% or so. Um, but I I am really enjoying it, and um, it's, it's slower paced, and there's kind of new characters randomly thrown in that I'm like, wait, 
why is this person important? And then like later it'll explain why that person is part of the plot. And it's kind of driving me crazy. So that's the only like downside to um, this story so far is me just trying to like grapple with what the relevancy of certain um, random tidbits in here are. But um, the actual romance of the two main characters in this book is really cute and re really slow burn, which I love. I know not everyone loves a slow burn, but I do. Um, like I love all the little moments in, in a story that build up to um, them finally getting together. So, so yeah, it's been, it's been a slower sl story, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. And uh, Penelope Williamson is such a good author as far as like Westerns go. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't found many authors that beat her writing as far as um, like historical romance Western vibes go. So yeah, enjoying this. Um, then I'm, <laughs> I'm still obviously listening to David Copperfield. Um, I am in the middle of this as well. I'm, I'm basically in the middle of a ton of books and it's kind of, I, I, I wouldn't say, are you okay, baby? <laughs> He's okay. <laughs> He's kind of a vocal guy. So anyways, um. Yeah, so I'm still in the middle of this as well. I'm listening to um, Richard Armitage narrate it. And this is where it is. I am in the book as well. So I'm basically almost 50% of the way through this. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I, uh, I'm i kind of also like slogging through a bit of it that I'm like not as into as I was in the beginning. And so I'm kind of trying to like get myself excited about reading um the rest of it I'm kind of wanting to I want to know obviously what happens to him and the progression of his life but this middle section is is very kind of boring so <laughs> um I, yeah I'm hoping it picks up but uh I think it will because something just happened that I read or listened to um that made me like kind of like spark interest again so yeah, there's that for um, what I'm going to be listening to. And then I did decide to switch gears via ebooks, what I'm reading, because I... Okay, here's confession time. I got 46% of the way through The Women by Kristen Hanna. Not feeling it. Just feel like it's a little bit soap opera-y, a little bit predictable. Um, and I'm not connecting with anyone. And so I kind of just decided to put it down for now <sighs> because I'm already kind of like slumping with my other two books. And I was like, I need to, I need to like freshen things up, um, to kind of make me excited about what I have on my plate as far as reading. So I decided to pick up um, let's see if it'll just show the cover here. Um, to Have and To Hoax by Martha Waters, which is the first book in a series by her, like a historical Regency romance. Obviously, it's, um, she's a modern author, but, but yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this so far. And this is exactly what I needed, the breath of fresh air I needed. Um, so I actually don't regret at all, um putting down the women for now. It's kind of a DNF for now. I'm not saying it's a DNF forever, but um, a DNF for now. And I'm going to go back to baby because he obviously needs some attention. <laughs> um, but I'll talk later about my plans for this weekend. So it's raining outside, which just inherently means that I need to make an Earl Grey tea. <laughs> um, and I thought I'd show you guys my new teapot. It is so cute. Um, yeah, my other copper one, if you guys knew, like, have watched me um, know that I had that copper tea kettle for a while. It broke. Hashtag toddler life. <laughs> um, so I had to get a replacement and I decided I'd 
kind of hedge my bets and get um, a cheaper one that's on Amazon. And this one popped up and it was only $12.99 for this cute teapot. Like it's, it's obviously plastic for half of it and then glass for half of it, but it's this cute like blue color and um, it holds a perfect amount of tea and it's pretty ergonomic. Like it actually pours with one hand, which my other copper kettle didn't do that. So um, I'm actually really happy with this purchase. Totally worth it. Um, and I guess if you guys want, I'll leave a link to it down below. Um, it's just called like the Half Moon um, Teapot. And yeah. It's raining, it's pouring. Yep, it is a rainy day that we haven't had in a while here in the Phoenix area. So much needed and much appreciated because rain just makes me so happy. You guys have no idea. <laughs> it makes me want to cozy up and read, obviously, but also just oddly invigorates me as well. Um, I mean, I was running in the rain this morning and it was just the best. Like I love running in the rain. <laughs> Um, because there's no one out too. So you're the only one on the road. It's just you and I don't know. Anyways, I'm very, um, very excited about this rain and this Earl Grey latte I made also so good. <music> later um, as you can see I got ready um, we have a fun evening planned at my in-laws house they got back from a big um, Asia cruise a couple days ago and they want to do like kind of like a low-key um, they're gonna have like a slideshow of their pictures running on the TV that we can like chat to them about if we see a picture that intrigues us um, as we eat Asian food. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little Asia night, um, at their house. So yeah, so that's happening in less than two hours from now. Um, both the boys are asleep. Sam should be waking up soon though. So I have to make this quick and still kind of quiet if you can't tell. So that's why my voice is quiet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the plan today. And then, um, the plans for the rest of the weekend, uh, I am getting my hair done tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. It's been um, since before Wayne was born that I got it done. So like my roots are very, um, very much showing right now. I don't mind a little bit of roots showing, um, but it'll be nice to have it all freshened up for um, kind of right before we leave. Me and my husband are also going to Asia. If you guys... Um, watched my most recent video I talked about it but yeah we're gonna go um, we're going to Thailand and I'm very excited um, this will be our uh, fourth time back so or maybe third <laughs> um, actually I think it's third it's third um, and uh, my husband speaks Thai so uh, yeah, so he's he lived in Thailand for two years, um, serving a mission there. And so, yeah, so we're going to go back, and I am stoked. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to get my hair done before that. And um, anyways, okay, so that's Saturday morning. And then um, I don't think we have plans for Saturday afternoon or Sunday yet. But I do want to get together with one of our friends who also has kids um, because we had to rain check last week. So 
Um, and it's a rainy weekend, speaking of rain. So um, we have to come up with stuff to do with the kids that's not outdoors, which is kind of tough. Um, so yeah, that is um, kind of my weekend plans. I have other various to do's I need to kind of um, manage as well, but that's kind of the big ticket items. Um, but yeah, my plan until Sam wakes up is to continue reading To Have and To Hoax um, in my ebook. And I am, I, I only got through the prologue, but the prologue is a very fun, um, it's like a, it's not a, it's not a meet cute. Yeah, it's a meet cute of the couple. Um, but my understanding and how it, it's, um, already shown in the story is that this couple, it's going to be like a marriage in distress. Um, them coming together again and falling in love again, um, I think is the storyline, the trope. Um, but basically they, they were forced into marriage because they were, um, caught in, in throes, like in the throes of, uh, them almost kissing on a balcony and, um, you know, like, like the classic, like, um, I don't know, historical romance Regency period, um, kind of cliche of, you know, them being caught, uh, doing something they shouldn't be doing, something nefarious back then, and then having to kind of, um, get engaged or, you know, get married because of it. <laughs> So that's what's, that's what happened in the, in the prologue. And then now it's starting, I think with them like a year later into marriage. Um, and them, I think are, I think they're, um, they're like estranged, like they're not, they're not, uh, getting along. So, um, I'm, yeah, I'm actually really intrigued by this and I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, it's very like, it, it's just like a, a fun, um, not serious book like it's not taking itself seriously which i enjoy um a definite palette cleanser from the other two books i'm reading which are like sort of serious <laughs> at least david Copperfield for sure is and then the outsider um penelope williamson is pretty serious when she writes like she yeah there's not a lot of like lightness to her stories so anyways um yeah so that's my plan is to read that and update you guys when um whenever I have something to update on. But yeah, kind of a slow day, but I don't mind it at all. <laughs>
because <laughs> I think we're both moms too and so it's nice to just like just kind of tune out the world for a minute um and you know at least in my opinion that's how I feel so yeah that's what's about to go down um just thought I'd document this before shot and then I will come back after it's all over and show you the after and here is the after I think it looks so good um obviously I don't have like makeup or anything else on so it's a little bit um not as you know it's a little jarring I guess <laughs> but but yeah I um I love it and I got a lot of reading done a ton of reading done um I only read The Outsider by Penelope Williamson the whole time um so I think I got like over 60 pages read um so huge progress which feels really good um and I'm still really enjoying it and uh yeah just glad I got a lot of time to to read this morning so I'm headed back home now um my husband is desperate for me to get home because he's been watching the two kids by himself so uh yeah probably gonna pick up lunch on the way too um as a compensatory measure <laughs> On our way to go see friends at the park. Huh, Sam? With pizza in tow <laughs> and a Diet Coke for me. Very excited. Yay! Sunday morning, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. How appropriate that I have a green smoothie for breakfast. <laughs> um, me and baby are hanging out this morning. Um, well, it's actually like 10.30 right now. Um, and I basically just ended up cleaning all morning while baby was napping and Sam was just hanging out with me. Sam gets very excited about when I get the vacuum out. I don't know if any other people with toddlers can relate, but he gets so excited. <laughs> um, but I'm not feeling well this morning um, and neither is baby, unfortunately. We both have a lot of congestion. I have a sore throat and uh, I did have a headache, but I took Advil, so that's gone away. Um, so yeah, I decided I would just tackle my chores right away in the morning so that I could just kind of laze around later, which is happening now. Um, so that's the plan. Um, hopefully going to get in some reading, maybe, um, once baby goes down again. But then by that point, I think... Uh, Andrew, my husband, and Sam will be back home. They went to Costco, so um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. But I am, I did read a lot last night. Um, I got very, I only have like, uh huh, yeah. I had, um, Wayne is in the like walker thing, and he just keeps looking up, like, who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Um, I did read a lot of The Outsider last night. Um, oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? Okay, wait one second. <laughs> so, I got two very exciting packages in the mail today. One of them is a pair of slipper socks that I'm obsessed with from this company called Bombas. Um, I originally saw them, they got me on Instagram, to be honest. <laughs> um, but the long story of these socks is that I actually ordered a different, um, cheaper slipper that they used to, or they still sell. Um, and it never came. And so I 
like message customer service saying, hey, this order was never fulfilled. And then um, they ended up being like, oh, well, we'll send you the even like nicer version of these slippers just as a um, token of our, like, as apologies. And also a $25 gift card. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what happened. They said they had some supply chain issues. But yeah, so these are the gripper slippers is what they're called. But these ones, the ones that I got, are the double cushion kind. So they're even more padded than the ones that I ordered. The gripper slipper. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Um, so I'm really excited to try these out because I have the others, the other gripper slippers, and I really love them. So they are just like the perfect lounging um, around the house type of... They're not even a shoe, just a sock, really, with grip on the bottom. Um, yeah, they're cute. I'm excited. So that's the first thing that came in the mail. Then the second thing that came is from... Um, it's actually from eBay, but I guess the the people that were selling it is awesomebooks.com. But it's a book I saw on... Um, who did I see it on? Oh, I saw it on... Uh, um, Rosamond Bach's channel, but I can't remember her channel name. Shoot, I think it's Books on My Bookshelf or something like that. Um, I'll leave, leave a link down to her channel below. I opened the book, finally. But here's the book. It's Mariana by Monica Dickens. And isn't this the most beautiful book you've ever seen? I just think it's so pretty. Um, it is a... Oh, what's the publisher? I've never owned them before, but I know what they are. Oh, and it looks like it was owned by Olwyn Evans. <laughs> um, it's like, uh, oh, what is the publisher called? Persephone, that's what it is. Persephone Books. Um, but uh, Roz was talking about how Monica Dickens, and I, I don't know, I guess this is widely known, but I didn't know this. She is the granddaughter of Charles Dickens. And um, she had her own writing career and everything. And I had no idea. Oh my gosh, this book is so pretty. So yeah, so I wanted to buy this. It's a coming of age story. Um, and definitely even the, the like cover evokes spring to me. Um, but yeah, I'm so intrigued. And yeah, just what a beautiful book. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, so this was the, the book that I got in the mail. A little perfect, like, cozy um, mail haul with these gripper slippers and this beautiful book. Hey, guys. So it's Monday. Um, Monday, March 18th. Yeah, March 18th. Um, as you guys noticed, the day got away from me on Sunday, and today, um, I'm now just getting to filming. And I actually thought I'd wrap up the vlog here and talk about um, what I ended up reading yesterday and what I plan to read for the rest of today. So, um, I also realized that I haven't done, and you can hear the plane overhead, sorry, but I haven't done an actual plot synopsis for The Outsider, even though I've been talking about it this whole time. Um, but basically the plot is, it's this woman named Rachel, who is part of the plain um, religious community, capital P. Um, basically picture Amish. And um, she one day encounters on her farm this outsider who um, is pretty badly wounded from a gunshot wound and so she ends up taking him back to her house and nursing him there while the doctor comes and tends to him and then um as he recovers so that's how they become acquainted with each other and then um he ends up staying on as a uh sheep hand because she owns a bunch of She's a, um, she's a sheep farmer. And anyway, so 
they end up striking a friendship that leads to more, obviously. But um, it's a very complicated romance because obviously he's not part of her religion. She is very, um, very religious, um, very devout to her faith. And so they're torn. She's very torn between her feelings for this, this man named Johnny Kane, um, who is an outlaw and he's got people gunning for him and stuff. And then um, she also has a very sweet relationship with her son who is like nine or 10 and has a um, stutter. And so um, he's been bullied a lot, especially by um, the kids outside of their community. And um, he kind of learns, he, he gains his own confidence through Johnny's help, which is really sweet as well. But there's a lot of other characters involved, which I know I talked about already in the vlog, that have kind of um, diluted everything in this story, kind of just made it, yeah, just very much like, I, I can't still figure out what the point is to some of the things talked about in this book. Um, it seems like it's all coming to a head and all kind of making sense now that I'm at the very end. But I have only 60 pages left. And this is, I mean, this, I feel like this doesn't really show the length of this book, but it's over 500 pages. <laughs> um, it's like 523 pages. So I'm at 467 now. So yeah, I'm close to the end and it feels very much like I've been reading this for forever because I have been. So I'm ready for it to be finished. I've enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it's going to get any more than four stars from me, but I have loved Penelope Williamson, um, her story, Heart of the West, like it says at the top, um, was my favorite book of 2021. So I wanted to read another book by her just to see if I still liked her writing um, in, other, in other stories, and I do, definitely. Um, but this just kind of wasn't, um, there was just a lot of superfluous things in this book for, for my taste. So yeah, so I think it's gonna get a four star, but I am enjoying it a lot. So I thought I would um, quickly talk about that um, and then try to finish it if I can today. It's, um, I wanna start another book with, um, that I'm supposed to start today with Fiona from Reads and Eats. We're gonna start the second book in the Royal Spinus series for March Mystery Madness. And I'm so eager to start um, start that book. I've been wanting to continue in the series literally since I finished the first book. Um, and I know I've been talking about it a lot on this channel. So yeah, so I really want to start on that. Um, but I also obviously just really want to finish this really, really long romance. <laughs> so that's the plan today. Um, I'm still not feeling well. Um, recovering slowly but surely. Um, but yeah, I still have like a sore throat and just kind of, just kind of achy and a little nauseous, like, ugh. just one of those colds that's kind of just lingering, you know? Um, so, and baby still is not feeling at his best either. He's doing better, but, um, yeah, we're still just both like, <laughs> so, um, the boys are both napping right now. So I'm enjoying the sun that's sort of coming in and out if you can't tell. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, um, and, uh, I hope you're enjoying your March, whatever you're up to, um, and with all that being said, please like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I will see you guys in another video.